All right, hello everyone. My name is Blythe, and with me is my friend Anne. We're both recent graduates of the doctoral physics program at Ohio State University. We're going to be going through the latter half of the particle accelerator activities. And what did you do your thesis in? Condensed matter. So I looked at the interaction of uh, individual atoms in semiconductors and how electrons, um, the flow of electrons can be controlled by perturbing individual atoms which has applications for nanotechnology. It's very cool. I went to Anne's thesis defense and I learned <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and you make, do you take pictures of atoms, which Yes, is my very microscope cool. can see individual atoms, which never gets old. Yeah. Okay, so we've gone through some of the predictions we can make with our model of, you know, how an electric field accelerates a charged particle. And now we're gonna see you know, how our predictions change with some other modifications to the physical parameters of our system. So we'll be exploring what happens if you double the mass or double the charge of your particle that is being accelerated and see how this affects the final velocity. Yeah. Blake, do you want to show us how to change that in the code? Yes, what should I, what should I change first? Let's start with the charge. Okay. To double our charge, we're going to go over to our code here. I'm going to blow it up to make it easier to see. Okay, we want to change our charge that's encoded in our Q variable, so that becomes 2 instead of 1. Let's zoom out, drag that over, and let's see what it looks like. Our part of going along enters the field, accelerates. So we got 78 uh, as our final speed, which is faster than our previous result of 55.5. Right. Why would it make sense that if we double the charge, we get a faster final velocity? Yeah, so if we increase that charge, remember the force experienced by the particle in the electric field goes as Q times E. So when you increase that Q, you increase the force that's felt by the particle, and we'll get a larger acceleration when it's between the plates. So and now let's see what happens if we double the mass. Okay. For example, if we went from a proton to a deuteron. Right. So then instead of one atomic mass unit, I'm going to do two. So we have the mass of the proton, the mass of the neutron, those are the components of the deuteron. I'm going to switch this back to one for our charge, which makes sense. The neutron is neutral in the deuteron, and the proton is still positive. Okay, now let's see here. I'm gonna run it, it's going along. Speeding up, pops out, and we get 40. We get a slower result. Why would we expect a heavier particle to end up moving more slowly? Yeah, so from, you know, both from our experience in pushing heavier things or from what uh, we can understand through Newton's second law where force equals mass times acceleration, if we have the same force, so that we have the same Q times E value, but we've increased our mass, that means our acceleration has to decrease. And so since we have a smaller acceleration through that same distance, it's gonna, that velocity is gonna increase less than it did before. 